Okay, uh, my next guest today is Kimberly Iron Jaw Law. Now, Kimberly's got a fight coming up on the Warriors at War on October the 11th up against um, Lauren Williams. Now, you girls got the fight of the year last year. Yeah, it was um, at really the good. Tavern. Yeah, that was probably one of my best fights I've fought. I was in the best shape I ever have been. Um, I'm looking for the win again. Hopefully, it'll go a lot more quicker this time, though. Yeah, Lauren's a tough opponent. Uh, sometimes the work rate can be an issue with it, but yeah. the ability is never an issue as Lawrence. Brilliant kicker, good on the elbows. And it's a funny thing, like you girls are friends outside of the ring, but when there's fights coming up, things get a little bit strange. I suppose the best word you can call your frenemies at the moment. Yeah, you definitely got to try and stay on track and not really picture it as a friend when you're in there. But as soon as the bell goes, you, I think I'm a bit more competitive with her because I don't want to lose to a friend, I'll end up bagging <laughs> each other out, so. It's funny you say that. Some of the best friends that I've made in this business with guys like Ian Jacobs, you know, Brian Murphy, Scotty Bannon, and I'll guarantee you, as soon as that bell rang, I just wanted to hurt those boys. It never worked out that way, of course, for <laughs> but that was the plan anyway. Yeah. Well, that's good now. Kimmy, you've had a good 22 fights now, and you're at Urban Gym as well? Yeah. It's good because you've had a, you had a bit of bad luck with going to uh, different gyms. I had a chance to work with him myself at once, yeah. day, which was great. I did. I really loved it up there as well. I think because I move houses so often, like I've lived all around Brisbane, now I'm down the coast, and just trying to juggle work and then fitting in training times, like they don't exactly fit in well together. So I've had to try new places just to try and keep everything juggling well. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, normally when a fighter changes gyms, it's tough for them to really perform well, but you've managed yeah. to win at every gym that you've been at. So that's a good thing. Now that you settle um, at Urban, it should work out a lot better for you too. Yeah, I've only had a, I think I had two losses at the start of the year, but um, headspace just wasn't there, so. But being with Richie, I find he's really good with um, like harsh criticism, like earlier on this week, he wasn't the way I wanted to be, so relinquish the title, which is good because it motivates me to kind of work harder for it. And you feel like you're back at square one, but you're going to train harder, kind yep. of thing, to get it back, and which I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, for sure. Now, um, this fight at the Warriors of War with Lauren, that is the main event too, isn't it? It is. Uh, as well as it should be. It's going to be a marquee event. Yeah. That's good. Um, have you got any future opponents that you'd like to match up with here? I do want to fight Kim Townsend again because I don't feel I was 100% when I fought her. Um, there's a lot of girls I really want to fight, like Carol Earl. Um, I do eventually want to fight Sarah Rankin again, but when I'm ready for it and I feel like my training's 100% because I think she's definitely probably one of the toughest opponents I've ever had. Um, and uh, I wouldn't mind going upper weight division as well and fighting Sam Brown. That would be a good fight to yeah. see. So would Sarah, because she's a talented lady too. Yeah. Really appreciate you coming along. Thank and you for I just me. want to see you go well in your fight career. Thank you. Right, the pleasure's always. Thank you, Kimberly. <laughs>